Hey everyone, Bassy back here, and today is episode 8 of my Tampa Bay Lightning franchise mode series here in NHL 24. And in today's video, we have an exciting one, as it is the year 2 season and we are simulating the year 2 Stanley Cup playoffs. Uh, in our first round matchup here is against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So this should be a very good one, uh, both teams still should be somewhat uh, similar to where they are in real life, so should be a very good matchup overall. And just a reminder here that if we are eliminated early in the playoffs, in the first or second round, I will again be just putting a black screen up at the end of the video to extend it, just so that it avoids spoilers. Uh, it's not like you see the video is 10 minutes and that we're eliminated in the first round kind of thing. You don't have to stay and watch it, but it does help the channel if you do choose so. Let's get into the playoffs here and take a look at the Leafs team, see what they're looking like in year two. Again, I'm assuming it's pretty similar to in real life now as we haven't got too, too far yet. Uh, Tavares is on the wing. You have Rachevsky, they signed the Jet. Uh, Robertson made the team. Interesting having Matthew Nyes on the fourth line, but hey, interesting. Uh, defensively, they add McNabb, McCabe. Other than that, it's pretty similar, and they have Samsonov and Wool. So yeah, it's a very solid team again. Uh, no injuries here. But uh, yeah, they look like they're going to be a tough matchup here in round number one. But I do still like our team, so let's get into this series, and let's start simulating here. Let's uh, go into this game by game and start the playoffs off, hopefully with a win. Let's see. Starting off game number one here. 1-0 after the first, it's a good start, Hagel. After the second, it is 3-1, Kucherov and Paul. Uh, let's see if we can hold this lead here. Something Tampa definitely hasn't been great at in the last couple of years is holding a lead, so... Let's see, 10 minutes left. Shots pretty even for the most part. We still have the two-goal lead. Power play late for them, and then for us. And we are going to hold out and take game number one by a score of 3-1. to one. So, hey, that's a good way to start the playoffs. Uh, starting with the win, especially on the road as well. So, uh, Michael McCarron's back. We don't need him. Let's simulate game number two. Let's see if we can take both games here on the road early on. After the first period, it is 1-0, Steven Stamkos. Uh, Brandon Hagel does make it 2-0 for us. It's a great start. Uh, Leaf 5 on 3 power play. Tavares brings him with in one. So let's see if we can hold the lead here. One goal lead now. As Tavares has cut that down. And Max Domi does tie it here late in the third. So we did blow a two goal lead. It's not ideal. Uh, are we going to get overtime? And it is going to be going to overtime. And Morgan Riley wins it for the Leafs. So that's a tough one. Game number two does go to them. We do blow a two goal lead, so not ideal, but hey, it's 1-1 going back to Tampa. I'll take that any day for sure. And game three, after one, it is 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, two one for us, two goals from Kucherov. Let's see if we can hold the lead this time here in the third period. Uh, let's see, 10 minutes left. They're out shooting us by about 10. Still have that one goal lead. Power play for the Leafs late, and Mitch Marner ties it. We just can't hold a lead in the real life or in the video game. And in overtime, we do take it in overtime, so that's huge. Cernak does put it past Samsonov for the 3 2 win. So, hey, that's good to see. At least we got the win out of that. So, let's simulate up to game number four here. Let's see if we can take a stranglehold on the series here at home. After one, it's 0-0. After two, it is 1-0. Finley gets one for us. Let's go through this third here nice and slow. Shots are dead even. Uh, they killed off our power play. Another power play for Tampa uh, about midway through here. Still 1-0. Can we hold out here late? Are we going to give up another late goal? No, we do not. So we do take game number four by a score of 1-0. Huge shutout win for Vasilevsky, and great performance by him just in general. So Overall, we are up 3-1 to one here. Potential elimination game for Toronto. Let's see if we can get the job done here, or if they're going to extend it. 4-2, that's a great start. Finley and Paul, 
coup from two from Kucherov. Sergachev adds on. But yeah, up big here in the third. Kucherov adds another one on the power play, followed by Stamkos. Uh, 7 to 2 here in the potential elimination game for the Leafs. Looking pretty good for us at this moment. Uh, power play for them goes nowhere. Honestly, at this point, I think we're good to just sim it, and we do win 7 to 2. So after being eliminated pretty early on last year's playoffs, we do get uh, some sort of revenge, even though it's not against Florida, as we do beat the Leafs in five here. Let's look at some stats here very quick. Uh, Kucherov, Stamkos point, that line just insane. Uh, other than that, it's not amazing. A lot of guys at two points, a couple at one. Uh, yeah, we want to see a little bit more depth for sure. It's not ideal, but hey. We got the win and Vazzy was incredible. 952 save. Yeah, it was a huge reason for us winning that series there for sure. Definitely held us in some games there. I'm sure we probably shouldn't have. So overall, what are we gonna do here? Let's make a couple of changes. Uh, nothing too crazy. Just going into round two, whoever we're gonna be playing. Honestly, I think that's probably good. Maybe balances it out a bit more. Defensively, I think we're fine. So, yeah, huge win there over Toronto. Who are we gonna have here in round number two is the question. Uh, wants back, a lot of games going to seven, and we have the Ottawa Senators in round two. So Ottawa, or sorry, uh, Ontario's other team here. I think we all knew that was probably a possibility at some point we were gonna be facing them. They had a great year. Uh, team looks pretty similar for the most part. Uh, Dvorak, <laughs> they got Pinto back from suspension, other than that looks similar. Defense, not really any changes, but they have a very solid defense, especially that left side. That's actually insane. And goaltending, yeah, no changes there. Again, yeah, they have a very good team here. Definitely can't underestimate them at all. But hey, I like our guys, I like our squad here, so... Let's go into this, let's get this started in Ottawa here for game number one. In the first period, 1-0 us, Brandon Hagel. Second period, 1-0 uh, still, no scoring. Uh, shots are about even here. Power play goal for Kucherov, that's huge. Gives us the two-goal lead here. Great start from the guys. And there it's 3-0, Groshet. That's huge. Uh, gives us that three-goal lead here late in the third. Uh, let's hold on to this. Let's take game one here in Ottawa. Three minutes left, two minutes, one minute. And we do take game number one by a score of 3-0. So another shout-out for Vazzy, man. He's been absolutely incredible early on here. Uh, as game number one does go to us. Guys have been playing really good. Let's just keep it going into game number two here. 0-0 zero, zero after one. 2-1 two, one for us after two. Thompson, Hagel, Dvorak for them. Uh, so we can start the third here. Five on three, five on four. Another five on three nothing from that whole power play that almost lasted 10 minutes that's actually kind of crazy uh but victor hedman does give us one there late as it is three to one us now gives us that two goal advantage two minutes one minute and we do take game number two as well by a score of three to one so vazzy has made what is that like 64 out of 65 uh saves through two games that's absolutely insane we do have an injury here uh, Groshev goes down, that hurts. He's been a great offensive weapon for us, so I guess let's just get McCarron in there for now. It's not great, but throw him on the fourth line, throw Finley up. Just like we did in the regular season, I'm fine with that. Alright, heading back home up two. It's a great position to be in. I uh, don't want to get ahead of ourselves for sure. Four is three after one. Wow, floodgates have opened for both teams. Uh, it's an interesting one for sure. Six to five, wow. 11 goals after two periods. Goaltending has not been great on either side here, gotta say. Um, but yeah, let's see, midway through the third period of play here, we're still down one. Power play for us, nothing comes of it. They're out shooting us here a little bit. Uh, we need a hero late. Come on, guys. And Ottawa will take game number three by a score of six to five. Uh, definitely a higher scoring game than usual. But hey, it's one game, still at home, still have the 2-1 lead. Uh, let's see if we can answer here in game number four. And we are up 2-3. to three. Here we go, Finley, Paul, I didn't see who the last goal was from. Ridley Gregg ties it up at three. 
and in the third period here and Giroux uh, like I said earlier against the Toronto thing we've been having issues with holding leads uh, had the 2-3 lead here in this one and now it's 4-3 them so that's not great we need a hero here with less than five to tie it for our side doesn't look like that's gonna happen as Ottawa does tie up this series after winning two games on the road they follow up with winning two games on the road themselves so it is what it is it's a best of three game series here as we head to Ottawa Let's see if we can answer first period Brady Kachuk gets one for them second period we answer Brandon Hagel uh, shots we're doubling them in shots that's a good start good sign but we can't get that lead on them 10 minutes left here in the third still a one goal game neither team doing much Eric Brandstrom, another late goal from them, that's not great. T Sorelli, there we go. Huge tying goal. Fisher, he gives us the... What is going on? Bernard Docker had like three goals there in the last minute, two minutes there. And they win it in overtime. Wow, that is tough. I'm pretty sure Bernard Docker scored with a second left to tie it. That's a heartbreaker for sure. So... Potential elimination game. Let's just get into it. Let's see if we can survive. 2-0 Tampa. There we go. Finley and Kucherov. It's a huge first. They tie it. Giroux and Kachuk. There we go. There's our... Us uh, blowing another lead. That's not great. Late in a game. Dvorak gives them the one goal lead. Ten minutes left. We need someone to step up as they are doubling us in shots here. Man, I can't believe that last game. That's a tough one. Three minutes, two minutes, one minute, and just like that, the Tampa Bay Lightning have been eliminated by the Ottawa Senators in round number two. After winning the first two games at home, we dropped the next four. Each one only by one goal, so that's tough. Let's look at some stats, see if there's anyone that we can really blame for this. Uh, you know, honestly, looking at plus minus all that points wise, it's no one re you really you can look at and be like, they were the problem. Defensively, everyone was a plus player. Vazzy did great. I think we just ran into a really good team there in Ottawa. Uh, but yeah, that's tough. That's going to happen sometimes, too. It's uh, just one of those things in franchise mode. You're going to run into those really good teams. I believe they won the President's Trophy, too, so it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, it's a tough way to go out, for sure. Especially that, like I'm saying, that uh, fifth game, I think it was there, so... It is what it is, we'll come back next year, as this year, in year number two, the Edmonton Oilers do win the Stanley Cup. So McDavid does finally get his ring. Vegas gets the number one overall pick. Dallas jumps from 10 to 2. Interesting to see. So, yeah, let's look at Edmonton's road to the Cup here, see how they made it there. So they beat the Senators, they made the finals in 6, beat the Jets in 5, Avalanche in 7, and the Kings in 7. So overall, yeah, another tough playoffs. At least we made it out of the first round. That's an improvement on last year. But yeah, still there's some uh, business that needs to get done here in Tampa. I uh, definitely need to make a couple of changes here, I'm thinking, into going into year number three. I don't know. I'll have to I'll see what you guys say. Uh, see if there's anyone here that we can pick up over the offseason. I don't know how much cap space we're going to have. But yeah, we'll see. That's a tough one for sure. But Let's sim it up to the draft here, see if there's any player retirements. We have Brent Burns as the headline of this year, Nick Foligno, Mark Edward Vlasic. Other than that, not too, too much. Goalies, Jonathan Quick's really the one standalone. So yeah, there is year number two in the books for you guys in this franchise mode as we get to the draft day here. Just simulate to that and we will stop right there. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode of my franchise mode here in NHL 24. The next episode, we'll be going through the draft, uh, re-sign stage, free agency, and simming up to the start of next season. And like I said before, I am just going to put a black screen up here at the end of the video. Uh, if you guys did want to keep watching it, that's awesome. It helps the channel. You definitely don't have to. But until then, I will see you guys all in the next episode.